historically, diarrhea was, um, there's a, Dr. William Osler had a great quote. He's a famous, I don't know, father of modern medicine. I don't know that much about him. That's just what they call him. <laughs> anyway, he was the one who said, um, dysentery has been more fatal to soldiers than powder or shot. And the statistics would bear, bear that out. The uh, Mexican-American War is the example. It's kind of amazing. Seven uh. soldiers uh, died from dysentery and disease, mostly dysentery, versus one killed in combat. So, uh, And what would happen, you would have these field camps, and you've got the mess tent where you're preparing food, no refrigeration, and you've got an open like pit latrine, and flies, unbelievable number of flies, also attracted by if any mm. bodies were around. So the flies are landing, you know, on the, on the, in the latrine material and then buzzing over to the beans, <coughs> which are sitting there. So the flies are a mechanical vector, which means they land on the crap and then they have these pathogens on their feet and they inoculate the food, which sits there for two hours. And then the whole camp gets dysentery or yellow fever or whatever it is, typhoid fever, whatever the pathogen is. So it was a tremendous problem. Now it's... Um, no, it's not because there's good hygiene on bases. Mm -hmm. There's uh, the the bases. We have air conditioning, so the whole uh, dining facility could be sealed. So you don't ever have to open a window. So there's no flies anymore. So that's not a problem. But it is a problem if you're saying special operations. You're one of those guys who's going out in a small unit, mm -hmm. uh, in, in say a small village in Somalia or Yemen. You're doing counterinsurgency work and. Uh, those people are eating what the locals eat, and the water is not often not safe, and the food, and they, the rates of diarrhea with those folks are very high, twice the rate of ordinary enlisted soldiers. And you could imagine if you were going to, I don't know, take down Osama bin Laden, whatever your assignment was, and you are hit with extreme gastrointestinal urgency, that's a problem for national security. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have any miracle drugs that we don't know about? Well, they were testing. Well, <clears throat> I went all the way. I went all the way to Djibouti, Africa for the diarrhea chapter. Um, <laughs> that's just the kind of gal I am. <laughs> um, so, uh, and there's a lot of uh, special operations, Navy SEALs, et cetera, going out to various Yemen, Somalia, North Africa. And <clears throat> I went with a diarrhea researcher who is testing a, um, a very quick one-dose regimen where you would at least be, you know, back on your feet in a few in a matter of hours rather than days mm -hmm. <coughs> so that's that's one thing that, that that's what they were testing so that's it's the main top secret it's top secret no actually it'll be coming soon to a drugstore <laughs> near you <laughs> one thing